Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. I'll bring you this little review and a little sh showing uh, some modifications on a new camp stove I am going to start using. I, um, I'm always researching gear, trying to figure out what's the best options and so forth. And if you watch my video, uh, it's been a few videos ago, I did a video about this camp cook set here. Um, and I, and I showed the Esbit stove that I keep in with it. Uh, but I've also found a what I consider, I think, is a better option. Nothing wrong with this, but the one I'm getting ready to show you, um, and everybody knows the Esbit. There's tons of reviews and stuff. Um, but there's one that I've got now that um, I think has some better options and a little more versatility. So, it's in this little flat comes in this little bag here uh, just FYI I paid ten dollars for it and I'm gonna show you um, the link below where I got it it was on eBay and there's a few different versions of these some of these are actually uh, folded and some of them are in these pieces so some of them actually have hinges and some of them come in these little pieces here um, and matter of fact the when I was looking at this one one picture showed the hinges one showed um, some pictures showed like this so I didn't know what I was getting when I ordered the crazy thing but uh, anyway I'm gonna show you how this thing goes together and kind of show you what it's about and so forth it's pretty simple they uh, you've got um, You've got a back plate here. This right here is going to be your solid back plate, okay? Then you've got these ones with groove, these slots in them. Those are your side plates. So it would go like that. And then it would go like this. And then you got two options here. You can run it with just this piece in here. And I'll show you that. Then you take this and just simply slide it all and lock it all together in place like that okay so what I like about this is you can um, use natural vegetation it's kind of got a built-in windscreen because the only opening is in the front so if you uh, face this uh, where the winds to your um, face and not coming at your back where it would blow in here it will keep it from blowing out so you got a few options here you can use natural vegetation what you could do if you had a long stick you know a few long sticks you could just keep feeding them in even if you had them uh, hanging out as they burn down you could just keep shoving them in there so that's so uh, you could fill this firebox up pretty good right then you also it comes with this little piece here and you can actually use this to burn esbit cubes or some of the uh, military fuel um, or alcohol or whatever and where that goes is in this other slot here and I'll show you that you just take that back off and you have to put this in you hold it all together then the same thing you come in here and you put it back together and push it all let's see just like that now, let me get it just like that so it locks into place so now I could actually put a um, esbit cube right there and I'll show you a couple things here with my kit so if you're uh, burning a esbit cube you can it'll keep your uh, fuel up closer or alcohol and you can stick your cup right on top right so where did I make some changes and how did I get it to where I think it's a little more versatile? I went and added, because some people complained in one of the videos, not really complained, but they noticed that the one of these, which is one of the Stanley Cook sets, is very popular and it would not fit on this. It just, it don't really fit correct. And so people were talking about putting some kind of thing up top, some, you know, some uh, little uh, bars and so forth. What I did, is if you've seen another video of mine I had some of this stuff I used and created a um, spark arrestor for my wood burning stove and I had some scrap pieces left over and so now I can simply just do that okay so that gives you a lot more versatility it gives you a lot more surface area to be able to put your Stanley uh, cook set or something like that or even maybe a little bigger pot 
um, if you wanted to do that because um, and this right here because it's basically the same size it just stays right in the bag it fits all in that one bag but I want to show you this uh, these right here are here five dollars these are gutter guards you can buy at the local hardware store they come in I think three foot links and they're like five dollars for three foot of this stuff and I just simply cut it out and now you can use it this way so one of the things I was going to show you that hadn't also been shown in any of these videos is the method I would use to start a fire with this is this so most likely I'm going to use maybe some esbit cubes and stuff occasionally but I, the reason I like this one is because of being able to use all the natural fuel that's around you which is wood and vegetation so what I would do if it was me I would take and create a um, and I'll do it on camera here for you and show you what I'm talking about but I would take some fire starter and I would put in this little bowl here and let's see so if I was out camping or bugging out or whatever and I was wanting to and you know even if it's wet or dry outside doesn't matter because I got this little bowl that comes with it for the alcohol anyway so why not utilize it so take one of these and open it up and you could use dry vegetation or whatever I just happen to have um, a little fire starter I made with Vaseline and a cotton ball so what I would do is start the fire then I would take this and simply put on top just like that and then I would keep feeding in the fuel so you've got this down here that uh, should be able to breathe and all and then I could just keep putting in any fuels that I want that I've already put in there some dry vegetation some leaves and so forth but now and this thing gets hot pretty quick um, but I would use this to be able to um, start the fire and then just simply set your little stove here on top and like I said it does get hot very fast so that was uh, one of the things I wanted to show you um, that uh, and this thing has come apart and it's hot ah. You know, and I was looking at the ones that uh, fold, and I, to be honest with you, I don't know which one I would like best um, because I hadn't used the other one. But uh, this one, if it's put together uh, correctly, it stays together fine. I've been kind of messing with it, burning some stuff, and uh, trying to mess around with it a little bit. Um, the ones that fold may be a better option. I don't know just yet. I'm going to probably order one just to try it and see. The only thing when you've got stuff that folds and got uh, uh, hinges and stuff, I was a little worried about the hinges potentially uh, breaking or something like that. Uh, I kind of like having something that you know doesn't have any mechanical, if you will, features to it that could bend or break or something like that. Because if one of those things, because uh, somebody was talking about when if you folded it the wrong way, they could see where you could almost break the uh, hinges off. With this, I don't think that's going to happen. So anyway, guys, I wanted to show you this uh, little stove here. I think it's a great option, and I think that um, it's more versatile than something like this. Again, it packs up very compact, and you just simply take it apart, and it all fits in that little bag there that I showed you, just like this. And then, like I said, I just uh, slide that down in there with it. And uh, just like that. And then, of course, this slides in there, too. And now you got a little compact. And I, it fits much better in this because it's so much thinner. So I actually got a little extra room in my uh, camp kit, um, mess kit now. So anyway, I just wanted to bring you this little short video about this stove. If and Alex said, I'll uh, show in the links below. Uh, just check the uh, comments or the section below, and I will have where I bought it. Like I said, it was $10, and um, they do offer a couple versions, so keep that in mind when you order. You may get the one with the hinges, the one without. Not really sure because mine uh, did show pictures of both, but I wound up getting the one without hinges. 
So anyway, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. If you have any other questions, post those below. If you've got anything, uh, you've got experience with a stove like this, a little camp stove, be sure to tell us about it or any improvements you've made, um, any modifications that you thought would make it work a little better. And as always, I appreciate you tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be bringing another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.